is um, Grogan here. I'm having a go today at um, seeing if I can get a old scanner, which I've hacked to bits, to see if I can get its drivetrain to work uh, as possibility for use as an axis on a 3D printer. Uh, you can find out more about the 3D printers that you can do at www.repwrap.org. Uh, just quickly look at the setup here. This is my second robot, which I've um, somewhat stopped as I'm going to replace this processor here, which is a BX24 or basic X24. I'm going to try and replace it with a processor that runs C, embedded C. I'm not too happy with it, uh, coding in basic. It's not my personal preference. On my old, this, on my original robot, this here is a L28. Servo driver, which I've designed from scratch, but at the moment I'm only using the basic X24 to drive the stepper motor driver, which uses an L298 and L297 combo. What's driving the power is a 400 watt power supply, standard ATX power supply, and just standard power going in. So let's power it up and see how it goes. I've, quite, I've tweaked it a bit so that's going to be a little bit quieter. Here we are, got it running now. Nice and quiet. You can see that the carriage is moving backwards and forwards at various speeds. You can see from the orange JOD that it's flashing so fast that the camera can't even pick it up. That ticking sound you can hear is coming from a little piezo speaker, which I've run I've wired up so that whatever the frequency that the tip is running at, you better hear it as well, as well from the piezo. So I think that's a pretty decent experiment and it's worked out quite well. Um, I reckon it's going to work very well as an access for a 3D printer. If you want to know more about 3D printers that you can build at home, visit www.retrap.org.